You can't really understand Bitcoin if you're not an engineer. If you don't understand engineering, systems engineering, control systems, servo mechanisms, system stability, you've got to understand all those concepts intuitively if you don't understand thermodynamics. The people that are pure computer scientists who are weak on physics and engineering and systems, oftentimes they create Rube Goldberg devices in code that a hardcore engineer wouldn't build, right? And so you can't just be a coder. And of course, if you're a pure engineer, and you reduce the world to I built a ship or I built a gun, but you don't consider the implication of the ships and the guns on the course of economic and political history, then you don't really understand Bitcoin either because you have to understand the history of money and the history of economics and mercantile networks. And the idea credit networks are local, like the, a German prince can have a credit network, a British prince can have a credit network, but gold or silver networks tend to be transnational, right? The French, the Germans, the Brits, the Persians and the Chinese could all agree to trade on a silver network or a gold network, but not on a Chinese paper money network. And so when you start to understand the impact of technology as metallic money on economic networks, and then the impact of a ship with guns on it on that economic network, or the impact of not having immunity to all the germs the Europeans brought, or the impact of not having steel and being stuck in the Stone Age, all of those things have an impact on the way the world evolved. And I I think Bitcoin is it's crossing every one of those fields right, right now.